TQQQ and SQQQQ. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the winner chart. We're dipping into negative MACD territory. As with the far upper chart, we remain in positive MACD. We're seeing signs of a diverge. As with the daily chart, we have reached back to positive MACD. And as with the trade idea, my trade position size for is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $20.19, that is its range here. My sub target is at $23.20, and that is its range there. My stop loss is at $19.33. And as for SKQQ, in the winner chart, we are in slightly negative MACD. As we extend that further to the forward chart, we see the same action, negative MACD, and we're seeing signs of a converge. As we extend that once more onto the daily chart, we are in negative MACD. As with the trade idea, my trade position size for is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $40.65. My sell target is at $47.11. My stop loss is at $38.58. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, we're examining QQQQ. So TQQQ is a leveraged version of QQQQ, while SQQQ is an inverse leverage of QQQQ. So do keep in mind that. So as with the fifth day or week of trading, QQQ has a 36% chance of climbing between 0 to 5%, a 9% chance to climb between 5 to 9%, and to the downside, it has a 55% chance to fall between 0 to negative 5%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.